Uh, see, I'm telling you, I have the minor rule master. Master, I have slay. Here it goes. A is for ambition. B, what I want to be. C, past the situation that's in front of me. <laughs> what is up, you guys? Welcome to the channel, or welcome back. I mean, I'm just glad you're here either way. But for today's video, I'm gonna be painting my skateboard, and I'd like to apologize for two things. First of all, I am so sorry. My voice is completely gone for some reason. Like, I don't know what I did. Also, um,. This or this. I'm gonna be painting my skateboard and I don't skate, so you're probably like, why do you have a skateboard? Well, I go to Rutgers, and if you go to Rutgers, New Brunswick, you know how much of pain and transportation in general can be. Like, there's three different campuses you can be on at any time of the day. You're constantly moving, buses are overpacked, too many people. Like, you should be here the first week of classes. There are people everywhere sometimes the only campus i go to is only like two miles away which is not that far so i can either walk or ride my skateboard and skateboarding sounds way more fun so i opted for a skateboard i got it it's boring it's black and we can get our skateboard we can get the paint supplies and make something really awesome so that's what we're going to do in this video this is going to be super fun to do i'm excited to see how it'll turn out and honestly like I've always wanted to paint a skateboard and I, this is going to be my first time trying it so I'm just really curious to see what my mind comes up with. See I'm telling you I have the mind of a master, master, I have the mind of a master mind, what's that? I don't know but you know I'm so creative like that. <laughs> Cross my fingers and hope it turned out well. So yeah that's what we're doing today. Alright let me just get started before you guys get bored so let's go. let's paint our skateboard just going over with white make sure whenever you spray paint do as many coats as possible like as many as possible i cannot stress this enough and just don't rush it because then you'll get it like a lot of weird patches and it won't look good and you want it to look good because if it doesn't look good then what's the point and if there's no point then you might as well just stop and if you stop then you're giving up and we don't give up so yeah make sure your art looks good and second of all, there is no shame in tracing. Like, I am a profound, not profound, that's the wrong word, I'm sorry, I'm just getting my words mixed up. Um, I trace a lot, okay, we're not gonna even try to be fancy, I trace a lot, and it's not that I wouldn't know what to do without tracing, it's just that I don't trust myself to not mess up if I don't trace, and... Well, I could not mess up, but I, with specific shapes like eyes and feet and hands, you want it to look like what you want it to look like. And if it doesn't look like that, then I don't know if I'm making any sense, but you just want it to look good. So just trust yourself. And as far as this part, I would say don't ever use Sharpie on something like this. And you're probably like, why? Well... Sharpie does not really spread well. I had a vision in my head to make it more uniform. Like, if you look at it, you can see it's stripey and weird. And I didn't want it to look like that. I want it to all look like one uniform color, kind of like the black. But Sharpie just can't do that because it's not made to do that. So I tried to go back in with like some alcohol to like spread it out and make it like watercolor didn't budge didn't move an inch and that was super annoying so if you want to have a good uniform color on like spray paint or wood or anything like that don't ever touch sharpie like it's not worth the time <laughs> oh my god i have a really bad cold and as far as this part goes the slime took forever not because it's hard to do or anything but just because i decided to be stingy and buy cheap paint and when you buy cheap paint it does not spread well it doesn't cover as evenly and quickly as more reputable brands so just spend the extra two dollars and get the good paint because it will take you way less time and your project will turn out way better if you don't have to worry about going over a million times to make sure it looks good now we're almost done i added the little droopy droops to you know 
add some pizzazz or is that what the kids say now i'm sorry i'm an old person so like i don't know what the new fortnite slangs are or whatever is it the floss you guys floss now is that what the kids are doing i heard there's something about like this dude named ksi or, or logan paul like they're on the internet on the on the face tube or something like that okay i'll stop with the dad jokes that nobody asked for and now at this point my hands were getting tired because this took forever just going in to each little corner and doing the stripes was a process but it was worth it it just took a minute and you guys can see here that i didn't have a thicker paint marker so i had to just go in individually and do each stripe with that tiny tiny marker that i used to outline everything and that was not fun if you can just go ahead and get yourself a thicker marker you would save yourself a lot of times all right you guys we did it this turned out awesome it, it took a minute but we're here we did it and i'm super happy to have this and like just be able to like show off my artwork everywhere i go just toting it on me i hope i get a bunch of people asking me where i got it from that i can like flex low-key and be like oh i made it myself so here is our skateboard zebra print i know interesting choice kind of weird that i spent this much time on something that i'm gonna destroy anyway but you know that's the fun part but this was super fun to make so if you want to see me do more stuff like this just let me know if you have a skateboard also let me know i'm i'm really excited to learn how to skate on this i'm probably going to make a video about that so if that's if that's something you want to see let me know in the comments and i think that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you want to um do this with your own skateboard totally do it follow me on all my social media i'll link everything everywhere like i always do i'll see you guys in the next video um all right bye the agony is they inspire me to love them g is past go with ignite the cash flow when eights just put your heart in whatever's your last hope